FMI was started in 1992. Over the years, we grew by bit by bit, and we're focusing on the, the, the long-term growth of the company. FMI is signifying the Myanmar side, the, the market as a new era of the capital investment in this country. By listing FMI, we're setting a benchmark that how a public company should be able to operate and listing on the public investment market. FMI business has been mainly focusing on the customer-centric, consumer-centric business model. FMI has an extensive portfolio of businesses in our four pillar, namely uh, financial services, real estate, healthcare, and tourism. In addition to that, we also have a portfolio of, of our strategic investment. These segments all come together to reflect the long-term vision of our company, which is to transcend Myanmar into the way of the future, as well as to build a better Myanmar for its people. I think Yoma Bank has done a number of uh, things to, to influence the financial community over the years. One of the aspects I'm most proud of is our governance. Our corporate governance in the bank has been something that we've been focused on for the last five or six years. Uh, in truth, both our compliance and our audit, but the way that we run the bank uh, is very much in line with our tag, the responsible bank. We're trying to do things the right way. Wave Money and Yoma Bank work together in a number of different ways. Uh, its reach across the country is unparalleled. With 40,000 agents, it has a network that no bank and no other institution can, can match. I think the most revolutionary thing that Wave Money has contributed to has been money transfer. Before Wave Money came into the market, if you were, say, a garment factory worker or a construction worker, you'd come down from Chin State into Yangon, Shan State into Yangon, Getting money back to your family was very, very difficult. And you've got to realise that these remittances that are going back, they're paying for things like education, they're paying for food, they're paying for healthcare. So it's really critical that this money makes its way back to the family. Now, for a very reasonable fee, uh, customers can immediately transfer money from almost any point in Myanmar to any other point. So I think this has really been a revolutionary uh, product innovation and it's really changed the lives of millions of people in Myanmar. Today, Memories Group is a listed company on the Singapore Stock Exchange and this allows us to really set up a hospitality and tourism dedicated team. The listing of Memories Group on the Singapore Stock Exchange to be a hugely significant step for the company. This is because having a platform in the international stock market allows us to bring in foreign capital international capital to come into Myanmar so that it can be invested into tourism assets and tourism businesses that will be led by Myanmar people, run by Myanmar people, for the Myanmar people, to show the best of Myanmar. Uh, making care possible to the masses has been our ethos from day one. Uh, it, it is uh, deeply enshrined not only in our parent group, because we talk about making a better Myanmar for its people, not for the rich or not for the poor, for it's for the whole cross-sectional. So you, you're not paying for the service. You, the difference you pay is for the ambience and for the strappings that come along with what you want to have. But we, we, are, we our ethos is reach, one of the components of our vision. International quality, reach, scale, godly compassion. And reach is all about making sure that it's accessible, affordable and equitable care irrespective of your ability to pay. We've got a track record of bringing quality to the luxury end of the market and to the mid-market. We think quality is something which should be available to everybody irrespective of the size of your family income. And so the core thing for us was to be able to try and find a way of delivering quality for people at the lower end of the income spectrum. Affordable housing is one of the greatest challenges for the real estate sector in, in this country. People at the lower end of the spectrum need uh, assistance and they need a degree of protection. We are in, in the business of assisting people and uh, that is something I think that uh, the, the company takes very seriously 
And we can do it by actually structuring finance and bringing our experience in delivering construction and developing um, into the picture. FMI Decoy is actually part of one of our portfolio investment. Um, it's actually, you can see on the street of Yango, our new bed shelter cultivating uh, throughout Yango. Um, FMI, together with the world largest uh, outdoor advertising company called JC Decor, has established um, a subsidiary we call FMI Deco to undertake a 20 years contract with YCDC. Our plan is to build 500 pet shelter and 500 um, city information panel across the city of Yangon by the end of 2021. You know, this is one of the projects that make us feel very proud because it's in line with our um, mission of build a better Myanmar for its people. So I really believe that this is this actually beautifying the whole city and make uh, the everyday life of um, Myanmar people very uh, enriching. FMI being a partner of choice mainly because of FMI business model. We are looking always running on the uh, uh, proper governance as well as according to the international and the local best practices. To be a leader in this country, we have to be really here to the, how the Myanmar market works, what is the Myanmar customer need and that we meet that. For after 25 years of FMI existence, we're looking towards for next 25 years of growth. Our new mission is being stated as a building a better Myanmar for its people. That mainly concentrate on the ideology or our vision that FMI existence to serve Myanmar people, Myanmar customer a better way to improve their life.